it was something like breaking the sound barrier. Hi everybody, I'm Tamara Beatty creator, voice fit, voice and performance coach, getting that magic inside of you out. This tutorial is designed to help people figuring out their registers. What do you do when someone says chest voice, mixed voice, head voice? I personally really do wish we had other terms for them because I think that they can be confusing. But like anything, it's a label that helps us delineate or distinguish what part of our voice we're in. And the reason it's important is not because I care if you're in chest voice or head voice or mixed voice. What I do care about is that what you want to say in your songs, how you want to express yourself, the feelings and emotions you want to express um, can be accessed. And sometimes if we don't have enough fitness, we have trouble getting that uh, oomph that we might need out of a certain note because our voice doesn't have the fitness it needs in order to do it. So the human voice has this nice normal speaking range, right? And then we've got a range that we maybe laugh in or get excited in and cry in, um, but we don't use those ranges as much. And when we sing, we're actually being asked to go across our ranges all of the time. Um, and then we have to also get the right pitches and be accurate and things like that. Um, so when I'm working with people, I often say, don't worry about pitch as the first important thing. Just try and kind of sing the sound in a way that feels easy. It feels good. It feels open. It doesn't crunch or engage those top rectus abs too, too much like this all by themselves. It doesn't engage too much that throat. It just allows you to sing easily and freely. Knowing that as you enter into a higher, heavier, or harder part of your voice, it's going to get more taxed and the voice is going to want to hold on. Have a little bit more like the neck, the muscles, the your larynx will want to rise um, and fall or tilt. Your tongue might want to grab, your jaw might want to close, your abs might want to to, to get controlled, your, your shoulders might want to um, stay really still and static and rigid. So all of these things can happen when we're entering into um, a zone that is out of our comfort zone or out of our fitness level. That's why I like to think of it as fitness because it's not personal, it's just, you know, got to work out a little bit more to get it so that you can actually access your emotion. That's the whole point. We want you to be a performer, an artist, not a technician. So, um, registers. Basically, when you're singing in your low range, so for male and female, it's different. If you are a young male, you're more in the range of uh, a female. And then when your voice changes, you move down. All that means is that your voice is more of the same size and shape um, as a female. And then as it grows, it ends up changing more towards a male uh, adult voice. And therefore, um, you can kind of expect your voice to be in these ranges based on what part of development you're at. So if you're a female, your, you know, chest voice is going to be kind of down here in these ranges. Hello, hello, hi everybody, how are you doing? That's kind of in this low range here. And our head voice is going to be, ooh, that voice that's up in that range. So for a male, you might think of it as your falsetto. So whatever range your voice is at, I would like you to just say the word go, like go, get out of here in your chest voice range. Try that right now. Good, nice and simple. And then let's hop up to a head voice range. So it's kind of like you're cheering at a um, an event, a sporting event or a musical event. Woo! So just try and get up into high range. Don't worry about matching my pitch, just to feel that. Now, some people really feel that low note resonating in their chest. Others don't, it doesn't matter. Go, go, hello, hello. You can put your hand on here and just see if you can feel that. So try that, just say a few words. It's nice, the rain is falling outside, it's really beautiful. And then let's hop up to the top into that head voice. Woo, cheering, woohoo! And just see if you can feel it here. Some people do, they kind of feel it in this part of their voice, or at least they feel the absence of it here. Woo, they don't feel it the same way. Give it a try. Good, excellent. So that's what it means when someone says chest voice and head voice. And this all mysterious mixed voice is somewhere in the middle. And um, that voice 
is is a little bit more of a tricky thing. Sometimes people just get right into it. Other times people have to trick themselves into it with some assists or boosts. That's what I call them at least. Um, kind of like trying to whine into them or to stretch into them or to kind of uh, yawn into them. There's lots of different ways people talk about onset and um, embouchure in order to get into that mixed voice. It doesn't matter how you think of it. The idea is, is it's it doesn't feel like this. And it doesn't feel like this. Oh, it'll feel connected, but released at the same time. So just for a second, try and get there. And I'll just show you my range. Like, ah, oh, no, like you're a kind of a bratty, whiny kid. Just give that a try in your range. Now for a female, that might be around here. For a male, that could be about, but don't worry about matching the pitch. Just try that now. Find a higher note and kind of be bratty, whiny about it. Give that a try. Good, good. And don't worry if you don't get it right away. That's sort of that mix zone. And after you develop it, it's not going to be hard to get into. You're going to be able to get into it as easily as your chest voice or your head voice. When we're doing exercises, some scales, like this one, mostly are only going to take you in that chest voice. Go, 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 go. That's it. Now, again, this is a female range. If I was showing a male, I would show him down here. Give this a try chest voice range, right? All right. Some other scales like this are going to go across the range. Go, 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 go. And then most people are like, I have to decide. Am I in head voice? Am I in mixed voice? Am I in chest voice? Here's the best rule of thumb. It doesn't matter. Try and keep your sound balanced at first. When you're first training, balance. Go, 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 go. Did I have similar volume? Yeah. Was I in chest voice the whole time? No. I went from chest to head. So, essentially, registers. You've got a chest voice, you've got a head voice, falsetto. You can think of it as falsetto until we kind of move forward later in the series. And you've got something that's somewhere in the middle. Explore your voice. Your voice isn't going to come to you and get the best authenticity out of it if it's rigid. You're going to want to explore your voice, find the cracks and creaks, ask yourself, what would happen if I did this? Try it out. Mimic somebody. See if you can get those nuances worked out by trying to uh, hear how it sounds in somebody else's voice and then bring it back to your own voice. That's it. Have a great day. If you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and do so below. And then there's a little bell there if you'd like to get notified. Awesome job. Have a great day. Bye. Check.